This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. So we are coming back after a few days. So today we are going to see the SPROT code in uh, GRC. So where which areas we have to concentrate, especially from SPROT code point point of view. So when you hit into SPRO transaction, so you enter into this page. So where you have to click on SAP Reference IMG, and then under that you find Governance, Risk, and Compliance. Okay, you have two entries. If you observe carefully, the above entry also says Governance, Risk, and Compliance. But within brackets, you can find a something called as plugin. Right? So this is related to plugin related software component. Because in this particular system, uh, let me go back to or let me open in a new screen. In this particular system, if I look into the software components of this particular system. This is actual software component uh, GRC related GRC FND underscore a and this is related to GRC PINW. This is related to the plugin software. So generally it is a practice we install both of them in the GRC system. But when you go into the backend systems like the connector systems to ECC or BW, you generally find only this GRC PINW. So in SPRO wherever you have the plugin in brackets that is related to this software component since we have two software components here that is reason we are able to see two spro uh, grcs one with plugin and one with the non-plugin so you have to concentrate only on the non-plugin part so let us go go into that yeah inside you can see several options like general settings shared master data settings reporting common component settings and then uh, there are components in grc like uh, access control process control risk management we have a separate links for it here so what what does the general settings contain general settings consists of some of the post installation steps so we may need to do some of the post installation steps here right this is not related to specific component this is very generic related to all components of grc one is activate applications in client and then we go for workflow under workflow perform automatic workflow customizing perform task specific customizing you can check into my post installation videos grc so we have discussed what is this steps about that what is what do we do in uh, perform automatic workflow customizing perform a specific customizing activate applications in client from ac perspective these are from ac perspective access control perspective but whereas coming to pc there may be one or more few steps we need to perform under general settings Okay, so we just go into here only during the post installation steps. And then coming to shared master data settings. In the name itself, it refers to shared. What do you mean by shared? Shared across components like AC, PC, RM, the three components you have here, the data, whatever you create, the master data, whatever you create, will be shared across the three components. Like when I go inside this shared master data, one example what I can give you is a create root organization hierarchy. So maintain organization views. So these two are usually are generally used in mitigation control concept. So while creating mitigation controls in GRC, we need to create organization hierarchy. So this is where we create and the same organization hierarchy. We can also use it in PC process control so that's why we are referring it as a shared master data settings and then we have 
reporting this is purely dedicated to pc common component settings this is where we do all our uh, connector configuration in the form of integration framework the first one all these steps create connectors and all etc continuous monitoring is used in pc process control policy management internal audit management ad hack except integration framework remaining all the uh, options whatever you have here are related to process control and now you come to specific things like access control specific related configuration process control specific configuration and risk management specific configuration okay so this this you should have an idea this is the only areas or only step where we come into under spro under grc and then the different areas where mostly we will be working on during connector configuration we come here under integration framework and then 80 percent of our configuration stays here inside ac for access control okay so that's all about uh, the spro transaction so refer to my post installation videos if you want to details about what all steps are performed under general settings and then shared master data or common component settings etc okay thank you all we'll catch up in next video